Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are in a good condition right now. Since we cannot see each other face to face, but I find a way to share my knowledge to you. By the way, I am your online teacher, Ralph Jovi Alaba. Can you guess what is our topic for today? Well, let's start. Examples of a car here, and also we have a lot of examples of the knives here. So what do you call about this plenty of objects? Yes, Glorad. A group, maybe. Yes, Prada. A badge, maybe. Oh, yes, Murano. Yes, you're correct. It is a set. So, our topic for today is all about the set. So, before we proceed to the definition of a set, let's have first the set examples. So, we have a set of fruits, and a set of domestic animals, and also we have a set of wild animals. So, this group are called sets examples. So, what is a set? A set is a group or collection of objects. It is named using capital letter. Each object in a set is called a member or an element of the set. So we have the symbol of an element, and also we have a symbol of an, an element. So take note of that symbol. So we have an example number one. A set of A or a set of school days in a week. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are the members or an elements of a given set so the monday is an element of a seat a and a thursday it is an element of a seat a while the sunday and saturday it is not an element of a seat a it's just because sunday and saturday is a rest day of a school of a week so let's proceed to another example number two the set of B or the set of accounting numbers less than 4. So we have the element of 1, 2, and 3. So the 1, 2, and 3 are called the members or an element of a given set. So let's proceed to the example number 3. A set of C of primary colors. We have the element of yellow, red, and blue. So the yellow, red, and blue are members or the elements of a given set. So let's proceed to the well-defined set. How can we determine if the set is a well-defined set? Let's find out. So let's go to the examples. A set of A or a set of primary colors, we have the elements of red, yellow, and blue. So the set of A, it is a well-defined set. While the set of B or a set of handsome boys in school, it is not a well-defined set because of the word handsome. Maybe for me, he is ugly, but for you, he's so handsome, so it is a well-defined set. Well, the set of C or a set of months in the year, so we have January to December, so it is a well-defined set. Well, the set of D or a set of popular actors, it is not a well-defined set because of the word popular. So, the popular, maybe for me, he is a popular, but for you, he is not. So, it makes the set a not well-defined set. Well, the set of E, of a set of an excellent dancers, same as the set of D, it is not a well-defined set because of the word excellent. Maybe for you, he is an excellent dancer, but for me, he is not. So, it is not a well-defined set. Well, the set of F, set of even numbers, so we have... 2, 4, 6, and 8. So it is a well-defined set. So let's proceed to the empty and a null set. So the empty or null set, it is a set with no members or elements. It is denoted by the symbol 
as you can see in your screen for empty set and also for now set which is the symbol as you can see in your screen so these are the examples a set of a or a set of triangles with four sides we have a different kinds of triangles we have scalenes isosceles equilateral triangle right obtuse triangle and acute triangle so the triangle has only three sides other than that it is a null or um, empty set well the set of b of a set of months in a year starts with letter z we don't have a month that starts with letter z we only have g f a and s n and d so it is a empty set well the set of c or a set of whole numbers less than zero so we all know that whole numbers is starts with zero other than numbers than less than zero it is a null set next is the cardinality this refers to the numbers of elements in a given set it is denoted by the symbol n so the cardinality of a set is written as n a the examples of the cardinality a set of A or a set of uh, primary colors, we have an element of yellow, red, and blue. So, the cardinality of a set A is equals to 3. Let's proceed to the set B. The set B or a set of school days in a week, we have the element of a set B of a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, the cardinality of B is equals to 5. Very good! Do you have any questions, clarifications about our topic? And if not, we will test your knowledge. We will have an assessment. Our assessment is an enumeration. It only composes of 5 questions and all you have to do is to answer it and if you're done, you can submit it through the messenger. Students, and now that we are done with our assessment, I want you to study in advance our next topic. So, we will discuss our next topic next week. Thank you so much, students. Bye-bye.